have to swallow it. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have here Matt with us. Uh, let's find out uh, what are his credentials and why he's here. Hi, Matt. Hey, how are you today? Good to meet you. Good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Good. Well, okay, so my name is Max Vitelli. I am the CEO of Phoenix Productions. Uh, Phoenix Productions is also part of the Phoenix Wrestling Federation, and we are launching our new network on Roku TV. Wow. And how many... Uh, Visitors, views, like what's the magnitude of your uh, production? Well, right now we are shooting for uh, to uh, on the Roku station. There are over 13 million subscribers. So uh, once we are uh, launching our network uh, come October, uh, we are going to be advertising. We're going to be putting ourselves out to in front of 13 million viewers. Uh, when you shoot wrestling. Well, there are obviously uh, certain uh, special effects that needs to be taken in consideration. For example, a lot of light goes on the space and people with cameras stand further in distance. How do you make sure that they, they not burn in light? Well, lighting is very important, especially uh, depending upon the arena that you're using as well, too. Uh, there are very, I've been in some very dimly lit arenas, and I've been in some very bright arenas as well, too. But usually with my camera crew, we have uh, anywhere between uh, three to four lighting, lighting lamps, uh, because the arena is always provided with you know, the top center lamp that just right. shines down on, on the ring. But then you've got to you know, make sure because mm -hmm. you know the wrestlers and the performers they you, move you know, fast. They move very fast, exactly, and they're in every single corner. So you want to make sure that there's Would lighting you ever on every use corner. Solar camera, or it has to be like regular uh, uh, video camera. It's we actually use a one HD camera, and we the other two cameras for the different angles are 4K. Mm -hmm. So we're we're grabbing. And you and have it on switch ports all together uh, goes in one. Uh, or you put, do it in post-production? Um, we have actually, actually in post-production, so it's all on, on the three different cameras, and I have so an you editor. You control the life event. It uh, has to be post-produced. It's like you can't, you're not having a switcher who, camera one, camera two, camera three, sometimes you're not uh, in that level. No, uh, we're usually not at, at that see. kind of, we're not at that would, scale of a production. Would you be interested yeah. uh, in producing maybe a live event with the YouTube Red? You know, that would be that would be the, great. So uh, people can watch as it's uh, taking place. I think that, I think that would be it awesome. It's a little bit more yeah. production. It, it would be a small production, of course, and like I said, we're just like starting out, like right at the, right maybe, at the like... Uh, uh, Mr. Great team and... Uh, uh, your team uh, can put together. Well, we, we could have Mr. We could have Mr. Camera. Great and Sean behind, and Mr. Max with <laughs> Mr. Great. That 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 would absolutely work out. I, I think that would work yeah. out great. Um, it all really depends upon the location that we're using. Okay. Some some buildings are Wi-Fi capability, and we can do the live you know the live YouTube mm -hmm. red. Uh, some places aren't. Uh, we still the cables work, and the, uh, there are ways to. To do those things. If you if you um, could find a way to do those, that that would be fantastic. That would okay. that would be great. No, I, I, would love, I would love to have you on uh, for something like that. That okay. would be fantastic, yes. Uh, what are the tips for the folks when they come to watch the wrestling and they sit with their phone and they do live Facebook or whatever they do and it's so far in the distance and you can barely see what's going on. It's really important to bring fans, I believe, to see the live event because if you're coming in before it starts, right, you're showing the where are you. Your friends see that. Oh my God, he's there, right there. Let me buy a ticket and they can just still come, come in. Right, but if the picture coming out not crystal clear and not easy to nicely to watch, they might say, "Ah, you know what? I'll pass." See, one of the things I'm glad you brought this up because one of the things that a lot of the independent wrestling companies make a mistake of is they have the fans come in with their cell phones and they do the Facebook Live. What we're going to be incorporating, and believe me, I've got the security guys to back it up as well too, is we're going to incorporate that we have a no cell phone policy rule. Because what happens is, I'll tell you what happens, um, just the smallest bit or the smallest farce or something uh, accidental can get on Facebook Live. And then all of a sudden, it's all over social media. And then all of a sudden, I'm a promoter who, who doesn't <laughs> incorporate safety. I'm a promoter who has untrained workers. I'm a promoter right. who doesn't, you know. And so, so what we... What, you yeah. like, uh, like us here at Chelsea Market, you want to control the content. Right? I always, well, everybody would oh. say I'm a control freak. That's not true, but anyway. <laughs> I'm a bit of a control freak, yeah. But no, um... That's one of the things uh, you want to really be careful because in this business, 
if you were to take, for example, how many independent wrestling companies there are in the tri-state area alone, tens of maybe even hundreds all over the place. Right. And but one of the reasons why you know they are not as successful is because their whole main thing is just the ticket sales and the people showing up. Okay, our main thing is we want to we want to get this talent, this raw but talent, out everywhere. Let me question you. Sure. How do they get those people to buy tickets? What's the secret to sell? instead of $30 to $100 or $2,000 tickets. How do they uh, get those? What usually happens is uh, an independent wrestling organization, they get what's called a name in the sports entertainment industry. Like, it goes uh, by brand? It goes who's, by brand. Who's stronger? Brand it's not really who's stronger, it's more like who, who's made a name in the wrestling industry. Like if you, you, you can book uh, Scott Hall, who, who used to be Razor Ramon. You could book Kevin Nash, who used to be Diesel. But if you have a name on the card, that's what you know, drives the ticket what sales up. What if you up. don't have a name on the card? How do you sell ticket that? You, you take a page out of the book of what Impact Wrestling did, which is what we're doing as well as too. And what we do is we don't charge for our tickets. We just have the crowd show up at and our how, events. And how do you make money then? Well, his, Food, drinks? Well, the concession is one. But the second thing is we're not trying to get a bunch of ticket sales and say, hey, we had a great show. What we're trying to do <clears throat> is we're trying to build an audience that's nationwide. So by getting the content out there, mm -hmm. now we're not targeting just the people who are coming but to that area. The space, the security, everybody has to get paid. So well, we have a performance. Sponsors? We have sponsors that we have. A, we have a, a fashion sponsor that is coming in to help us out. We have. A, we actually have a transportation company that is sponsoring us mm -hmm. as well too. You have the way to pay for the in, for these for these events for these productions is to get the sponsors. And this is what a lot of these independent promotions do. They make these mistakes and think it's like, hey, I'll depend upon my workers to sell tickets. Hey, I'll depend upon, you know, the local guys to pay for us. You know, there's only so many Joe, Joe Pizzerias you can get as sponsors, you know? Right. You have to go with the national sponsors. You can get a credit agency, okay, that, that uh, a company that... that What's uh, the secret to getting those agencies? When I talk to Coca-Cola or I talk to major uh, Bacardi or whatever the company, they want to see first the numbers. So it's like chicken and the ad. Mm -hmm. First they want to see you having 50, 100 million views and then they give you the money. And you cannot have the uh, that kind of numbers until you have those sponsors. So, like, do you go for little uh, sponsors, smaller firms? Or you, you can go, go for the, the yeah, you, yeah you can go for the smaller firms first. That's what you should do. I mean, the ones that are you don't go for the Bacardi's or the Milky Ways. You go for the ABC Energy Bars, or you go for the uh, or you go for the a vodka companies, uh, a supplement, a supplement companies, or vodka companies, or energy drink companies. Uh, so that's what you go for. But <clears throat> once you get the content that is out there and it's being marketed, you have to have also a marketing team behind you. Now I've got over 30 years of sales experience under my nice. belt so yeah I'm, I'm pounding the phones myself getting sponsors but I have a fantastic girl who's now out in Las Vegas her name is Haley okay and she is my EVP of marketing and she's helping me get the national sponsors as well too so you have to have a marketing team behind you all with the same mm -hmm. goal to say hey you know what these sponsors you want you want to be out there you want to get us to get your name out there this is what we're offering this is what we're doing and when we tell everybody and gentlemen, that's the, the person to talk to if you want to learn more about this, I would love to talk to Matt, but we have more amazing guests for you. Sure. So uh, continue to tune in. I hope Matt will come next time for the next shoot. I would uh, love to come have, back. That would be great. Uh, on 29th, uh, our next uh, production. So uh, tune in on 29th and uh, hopefully uh, you will see Matt again. And uh, if you have questions, Matt, we are welcome. Uh, for your comments and uh, uh, questions and hopefully on the next one you can answer a, a few more. Great. That would be great. Thank you. Cut.